This is Mary at the Marriottier, and I was going to go shopping today, but they say there's sleet and hail and rain and possibly a couple inches of snow heading our way this today and tomorrow. I may not get out of here till Friday or Saturday. So I am behind on my acrylic paintings. This is day one. Day two was some paint brushes. Day three was a jar of broken jewelry. Day four, which Violet says she likes is a book with a cup of coffee and a pair of eyeglasses. Five are these three little dolls. They're really Christmas ornaments. Day six, I painted this water pitcher with the little tricycle and the orange. And day seven, I painted these watches. So that's a week, but today is the 10th. I have three to do. So if I pull this folio out, I got one, two, three, and I'll be caught up. So let's do that. I am on the second week now. How about those watches? That was fun to do. So what are you going to paint? Well, our daffodils are blooming. Wait till you see these. <laughs> I can't tip it too much or I'll spill water all over my desk. Aren't those beautiful? And then here's, I just have them in a, in a jar vase. So I'm going to paint these beautiful, beautiful daffodils. Could almost paint them top down, couldn't I? If I could get tall enough. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think I want to adjust my camera setting a little here to move it this way, this way, this way. And down one, down one, down one. There. Now, I think you'll see my palette that I'm using over here, which just is vinyl wallpaper on my desk. And I'm going to have to put the daffodils up out of your view. They'll be out of your view, but you've seen them. Do you want to see them again? Do you want to see these beautiful daffodils again? Aren't these beautiful? I, I have to tell you, you pay $35, $45 for a bouquet like this, depending on where you got them. So then I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do three. I have this little vase of, I asked my brother what these are. These are just growing all over our yard. And my brother says he, he doesn't know what they are, but he calls them snow crocus. Let's hold them up a little to the screen over this way. They are so cute. And I'm just kind of resting them in here like that. So I'll probably paint them separately. And then maybe I'll do one with both of them together. So I'm going to paint flowers today. I'm going to try to hide my disappointment of not getting to go shopping. Um, I don't like to drive in bad weather. So it's it's probably smarter to stay home <sighs> oh well there's all summer to go shopping and what is the silliness if you go out and get in a car accident and ruin your day that way so we will stay home and paint daffodils so i have my brushes here they're just craft brushes i've got about an inch flat, maybe three-fourths of an inch flat. That's a pencil. I sketch with my brushes. I think I sketch with 
this one. I like to sketch with this one. I've got some little ones here. Got another little one in here someplace. Oh, they float away on me. But this is what I have to, to uh, paint with. I've got a smaller one than this. I thought I had it out. I'll have to hunt for it again. Did it fall on the floor? No. Well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. So I like to sketch. Now, I will probably sketch. Let me roll up my sleeves here. Try to keep as much paint off of my clothes as possible. I will probably sketch these in a light blue. Let's get up. And my blue is, this Deco Art Blue is very, I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's very watery. Uh, it's It's got a lot of medium in this blue. I've, I've never seen so much medium in, in a bottle of craft paint. And I'm calling this craft paint. It really is acrylic paint. Um, it's a student grade paint. It's not their professional paint, but it does a good job. But this blue is, they must have goofed on their formula or something because it is very, very watery. So I am going to turn my daffodils in a way that's pleasing to me and paint these. Yeah. And I'm going to sketch it in first. Now, the way I'm seeing this, I've got a daffodil that's kind of falling down and one above it, and the jar is actually up above the one that's falling down. So I'm going to start my jar. Well, let's see. I'm going to start it in here. And let's just do some. And actually, I should be doing this in kind of a green, but we're going to sketch it in a blue. The jar falls that way. And then the daffodil, though, starts to hide this. The daffodil starts to hide this. And it's it's a pretty daffodil. And I do have east light coming in my window. And I open the blinds. A lot of times when I'm working... I work at night, so I don't have really good lighting, but I've got pretty good lighting today. Ooh, I like it. And then it has a, another petal that comes out this way, like that, maybe. And then this one kind of comes in, kind of cheated on this one, like that. And then there's another one that falls in this way. And one that falls kind of like this. Maybe this one isn't so big. But the advantage of sketching these first is that you can, if you make a mistake, you can paint it out. You can paint it out. My jar, my jar is going to come way down to the bottom of my table because this is a pretty tall vase of flowers and in order for me to get it on my canvas well you know now I've got all of these let's go with this one up here though there's another daffodil coming in here and I'm just going to put little sketchy lines for it now at this point you saw how I started sketching it at this point I am going to go into Fast forward and just paint. I'm not going to sit here and chatter while I'm painting.
Okay, I'm going to call this finished, even though there are a lot of unfinished areas in here. But your eye kind of blends those together as you look at it from a distance. So trying to get every little tiny detail in there. Yeah, that's nice if you're a camera, but I'm not a camera. <laughs> and when you look at it from a distance, it really does blend everything together. I'm very happy with this. I don't know if I'm going to get my other two painted. I wanted to paint these. These are so pretty, but they're already starting to close up. And they're very interesting little, little plants, little blossoms. But I've enjoyed having them. And let me tell you, Ooh, do I smell flowers. The whole time I painted this, I smelled my daffodils or these little flowers. Smelled good. Kept me company all afternoon. So I painted on this about, about two hours and 20 minutes was my paint time on this. Very fun to do. Not perfect, but yeah, daffodils. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed watching this and I will see you on the next page.